Of course, perfect timing. Oh, hi everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helene today, along with... Faisal First Midrick here, at your service. Okay. And, yeah. After some testing, we found out what the hell was wrong, and that is apparently when I was resizing the OBS window, it got a, like, a pixel or two onto the other monitor, which was causing things to freak out, because, yeah, things don't like being placed in the middle of two monitors. So, now finally, this should freaking work. Well, the game worked. It's just that the Discord screen share wasn't refusing to work. So let's get this started, finally. We have sighted, right? I can see! What okay. have they done to Indy? It's actual text there, no gibberish like you see in off, you know, like you often see. Uh, oh yeah, I see the issue here now. Um, it has cut a few things. I thought I'd fix that. I think this is one of the weird ones that works in full screen. Okay, let, I'll just need to correct that Time quickly. To to um, we'll leave this in as a nuisance then. Okay, uh, turn that off, stop the timer. At least this is a smaller issue. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's turn this to that. Like, some of these games are so old that if you use them with a quote unquote rectangular monitor, it may have some issues. Since yeah. monitors back then were more square. Uh, this one does work in uh, in widescreen, as you can see here. And yeah, well, the... we saw what happened when this game got compressed down. Yeah, the other one... The other, the, the other one, the only screen with the stream does not like widescreen. Actually, did I have... Did I have these, the right way around or something? For, I, I can see the game working oh, now, finally. Oh. I, I see what uh, I, I see what I did wrong. I activated the the wrong uh, <clears throat> I activated the wrong capture. That was the for, for the Emperor's tombs. Uh, that was uh, the capture for that, because that only run, wants to run in four by three. While as for some reason this game, which is older, runs in sixteen by nine. So yeah, here we go. Uh, the only real difference. Uh, between this and the game capture is that some of this stuff doesn't actually show. And I think it actually runs a little bit better when you run through this. Like, if I do this, yeah, this wouldn't show up normally. Um, this That wouldn't show up on game capture because it pops out outside of the game itself, technically. Is, is, is this the Gyugi version? Yep. Okay, then I can see why it works with widescreen all that. Yeah, but... And why does this for some of this behavior looks way off for some uh, a game like this? Uh, I I don't know. I, I think with the Emperor's Tomb version, it's more because it's a direct console port, probably. Either way, the game we're playing is as is likely been <laughs> visible for a good bit now: Indiana Jones and the Inferno Machine. Which, as you can see, is also rather old. Like, and there is an there is a bit of an irony with this game and the Tomb Raider series. Uh, wrong button. I, I'm using the arrow keys to move around. Left Alt to jump. Right Alt does the same. And Control is the interact key. So yeah, it's a bit awkward, but it's not too difficult. But uh, yeah, what is so what is ironically funny with this game and the Tomb Raider series is that yeah I've already told the key of this before during, while testing this and <laughs> spaces to draw a weapon is that originally uh, Laura Croft from the Tomb Raider games 
the in the original design, <laughs> they wanted a male character, but they basically ended up with a rip off of now Indy what? here. And then we have the first 3D Indiana Jones game, and it's a bit of a not not really a rip off, but it's very similar to your first uh, Tomb Raider games. It's a bit more recent than that, uh, so we can crawl with C. But there's still a bit of an irony in there that the copycat <laughs> became the copy. Okay. Yeah, it is kind of comical, but then again, they had already done a lot of it in our young skin. They were point and click. Yeah, and we might come to that as well. Uh, let's see, is there actually anything to look? Is this just a death pit or... Oh yeah, that is definitely a death pit. We're going yeah. to need to jump that. Uh, let's see, I believe there is a key to look around. Yeah, we hold insert. Oh yeah, that, that is definitely a death pit. Yeah. Also, I should start the timer again. Probably a good idea to do that. But yeah, as I was to say here, I can understand uh, that this one becomes a bit more similar to Tomb Raider due to, well, the earliest one was basically Nintendo shooting from a side, then you have the pointing clickers. But when you want to do a bit more action, yeah, copy you Tomb probably Raider. end up doing this. <laughs> Hmm, that thing looks whippable. Uh, that, that line could probably be so abused if I were to able if I were able to extract it. <laughs> that thing looks whippable. Then <laughs> just add anything you want in <laughs> over oh, it. God. But yeah, Indy has his trusty whip, and if he holds it, it's a bit odd. This fast. Yeah, we can't see it at the moment since the camera is. But if he lifts it up like this, uh, then it means he can. Yeah, wrong button. He can attach it to something like this, and then we can use it as a rope. Okay, and then just jump off, and there we go. That is definitely something that isn't in Tomb Raider, and yeah, I think everyone could hear that there over the waterfall, which is the reason why I didn't start this up before because nobody would want to listen to the waterfall for five minutes long. I'm pretty sure. Oop, overshot. Uh, Surprisingly, some wood, like... I guess it depends on the wood for sound. True. Okay. Beside the whip, we have this pistol here, for which we have infinite ammo, but of course it's the least damage-dealing weapon. Look what I found. But yeah, a good fallback all the same. And, yeah, this is very clearly not the original voice actor for Indiana Jones, or the original actor, but uh, this is actually the first interaction I ever had with the franchise, so <laughs> when I think Indiana Jones, I hear this voice. Wait, you play this if you saw the movies? Yep. And, yep, yeah, there you can oh, see, dear. very obviously... I'm so used to Spacebar being an action button instead of an <laughs> draw button. Oh. Whoa. Okay, they did... Okay, I'm gonna get okay. They did throw away flash animation. Yeah. Okay. Can I move it? Too bad to see how old it is. So I've been giving credit for at least trying. Yeah, and this this also ran on the N64, so there are definite limitations. But it is from my likely biased memory, this isn't a bad game. It is a long one, so we'll probably be busy with it for a bit. And it does have some of the pitfalls of the old games that you might need to go well looking around a lot so i might just i'm i'm likely to just pick up a guide at some point to help with the more annoying parts that's and probably really wise i guess yeah with tomb raider anniversary we had a lot that was streamlined from the original uh, this game does not have that 
and there is nothing up here. So is well, this is not a remaster, so it wouldn't make yeah. sense. It may only have a few fans uh, fixing up a little bit. True. Okay. We do need to keep a bit of an eye on our the health, though, so we don't fall down from something too deep. And speaking of falling... Okay, luckily we don't suffer anything from that. Uh, let's see... Oh, there's something down there. We can see we can go underwater as well. We're, I forgot to say, but we paddle with jump, so alt. And yeah, there is a reason why we want to collect all of these goodies. All and right. I probably don't have to announce too much about the, the air bar in the corner. The typical stuff that mostly speaks for itself. Just don't run out and you don't die. Now yeah. I believe that, yep. There's an extra area hidden here, or I believe it is extra. Where we can find some more goodies. Uh, let's see. Yep, there's another skeleton, and I believe that has something. I did... Like, yesterday I did say that this game did run well the last time I did, that I tested it. And, yeah, I I got through most of the level, I believe, or <sighs> the entirety of this level. I forget specifically how many levels there are, but I know that at least one of them is going to be an absolute pain in the neck. Because it's the one where you might have to circle around a lot. If you're unlucky in the way you end up with things. Oh dear. For now though, we've got the loot. Let's see if there's anything more. Hmm. Actually now I think about it. Since LucasArt is back, like LucasArt Games. Yeah. I kinda hope they will make remasters of many of the more popular titles. Yeah, we can only hope. Okay. Again, I understand some people are tired of remakes and remasters, but... When it comes to games, I think that is a bit more... needed. Just many games may no longer work at all and all that. Yeah, we Be already like, had a issues getting this to work. Or at least work with Discord and OBS at the same time. Yeah. With movies, which I think uh, people are most annoyed with. Most you can put over to a uh, DVD or Blu-ray or something else. You can put it into digital. Provided you ha haven't lost the original to begin with. Yeah, I think what annoys people more about those is like with uh, the Star Wars movies, where they changed in stuff that... People didn't think needed changing. Yeah, the, see. the latest Star Wars trilogy was more of... I think I heard Bluntland copy-paste of the original three, despite Lucas giving them... Here's some people what could have happened after. Then I go, nope, we copied the first ones. I hope no one will notice. Now, I, I think it was meant to be more like a similar structure. But that they just went overboard with it. Like, I personally, I personally like the first of the new trilogy, but the fact that they absolutely failed at having anything written ahead of time. But then again, Lucas didn't have the second and third movie planned out beforehand either. But uh, yeah, they should have had those planned out before they started with the first movie, which they didn't. Yes. Yeah. Nope. Funny how I didn't spot this before. If this is the prize, I'll lose my grant for sure. Where are the priceless artifacts? The gilded idols? The crowns of kings? Good news never travels that fast. Better get up there. Okay. Back but to base also, camp. But I was to say, if I remember right, Luke, Lucas wrote the books, the original What's books that? that became movies. 
I'm pretty sure that were <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were in the books first. Like uh, SF Debris has a whole uh, video series about the creation of Star Wars, and look what yeah, I he, found. If I remember that goes correctly, he had no ideas at all for sequels to begin with. So okay, he basically for, wrote those by the seat of his pants. For, for what I heard, it was based on books he wrote, if I call, since he actually said that recently started with episode 5 or with episode 4 or something, like the original 3. Was for he said that they could not do one, two, and three with modern technology at that time. Uh, Lucas now has what? also uh, made I a bit, bit of a made a bit of a development to pull things out of his ass in his later years, though he's still alive. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but I remember the first three were called Episode Four, Five, and Six. Yeah, they they got that later. They. They were just uh, Star Wars, and then the subtitles got added later, I believe. I, I, but I might be wrong about that. I'll need to look at uh, SF Debris' videos on that again. And he's a pretty trustable source on those. That's the way we're going to go. This is a case if you may want to look up the other Star Wars channels who are dedicated to Star Wars, in this case. Okay. I was expecting hmm. more snakes. Hmm. But yeah, I also heard other things that, things that I, I'm not sure if it's true, that he was inspired by a Japanese show called Comet War or Cosmic Wars. Which I think like is a, one of those popcorn films that most Japanese know it's bad, but uh, he has his own cult following. That he saw it and thought, okay, this is bad, but there's a lot of potential. And somehow he... Star was born from a one other movie and expand on it fully. Hmm. I'm not sure on that, is... but I know he. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he pulled some influences from uh, old Japanese movies. Yeah, one of them is called. I forgot if if it was Comic Wars or Cosmic Wars. Is one hmm. of them, if the I remember right. That... The reason that I saved there is because this game does not have checkpoints at all. This is before the age of checkpoints. Oop. Uh, Oop. So okay, you mean you die, you start from the beginning of the level. Uh, or your last save point, which is why I made one there. Oh dear. So, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm going to need reminders to save <laughs> decently frequently. Especially as we get later on in the game, because what I'm pretty sure none of us, not even me, wants to redo big sections of this game. All right, big jump coming up. Like, there's no real need to go this far back. Like, you you get the max distance from your jumps. No matter if, if you're just at a decent pace, and it's not like momentum is a thing in this game. And yeah, back to our base camp. Oh no, what now? Sophia Hapgood. Hello, Indy. Been a while. I'll say. What brings you out west? Some psychic premonition about the treasures I should have found? My, look at these wonderful pot shirts. It's the new thinking in archaeology. Find some worthless debris, analyze it, understand prehistory. Kind of noble, don't you think? There's an iron curtain coming down on Europe, Indy. The Russians are taking over. I read the papers. Want a real chance to be noble? We need your help. Uh-huh. Who's we? When I joined during the war, it was the OSS. Now President Truman calls us the Central Intelligence Agency. Is that what you're up to these days? Soviet sabotage? Atomic secrets? Don't be silly. We've got whole battalions for that. It's my job to worry about more, uh, unusual activity. Such as this dig site on the Euphrates River, south of Baghdad. Babylon. Remember your Bible? That's where mortals raise the Tower of Babel to invade heaven. Well, you know, this does look like the ruins of a Temenanki. The ziggurat often identified with the tower. 
Very good, Dr. Jones. You're looking at the brainchild of one Gennady Volodnikov of the Leningrad Physics Institute. He thinks there's some truth to the biblical legend. Isn't he a godless communist? He's a physicist who studies manifolds and hyperspace, quirky theoretical stuff. Now, what's a guy like that doing in Babylon? Not sure. All we really know is he thinks the atom bomb is a joke. Then why isn't the world laughing? Indy, suppose the tower has some deadly force no one else had ever heard of. Something as dangerous as nuclear fission. And the Babylonians tore it down for reasons not discussed in the good book. Exactly. It's an amusing theory, but as you can see, I've got troubles of my own. You don't think I flew out here from Washington just to relieve your boredom, I hope. This came from the Russian dig site. Uh, somebody made a mistake. This looks like part of a steam engine, maybe a locomotive from the last century. There's no mistake. We've dated the thing. It's 2,600 years old. Really? Look at that little wheel spin. How'd you find it? Come on, Indy, we're the CIA. We have spies. <laughs> Part of his hat is raising through the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, and, dear gods. Yeah, there we have the start of the game. Yeah, and uh, uh, we get a score. Another credit, a little bit of credit worth here. They did something that not many games, as far as I'm aware, did in these cutscenes, or as well high quality cutscenes, that you took off a hat and the hair flew out. Most did not do that unless they have a very specific cinematic. Well, this was a cinematic, so they didn't have much else to render. And uh, yeah, we found technology that should not have existed like <laughs> before the year started counting, or centuries before the year started counting. And it's as advanced as modern stuff, or nearly as advanced. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, just to correct you, you know, this was a cutscene with in game models. What I'm talking about is usually when they do something like with the hair, hair or hat, usually with not in-game models cinematic. Yeah. And here we have the shop where we can buy some stuff. Uh, we have only 510 uh, <clears throat> in currency at the moment. And most of the stuff is a bit pricey. These poison kits are nice, though, from what I remember, because, well, we start with one, and, well, snakes, poison, you can put one and one together. Uh, we can also get some first aid stuff, and the, there is also a secret map for a secret level, but that is very pricey, as you can see. For now, I'm just going to get one of each of these and call it there. Da -da -da -da. Yep. And we move on to the second level, Babylon. Babylon. A lot of mud brick and not much else. Why do the Russians want to dig it up? All right. Okay. I Okay, with this villain, I disagree with him that a atom bomb is a joke for nuclear weapons is not a joke. Yeah. However, I will agree with him is that there are probably things way more dangerous than a nuclear weapon. Yeah, like uh, neutron stars and such, which can... I don't know if it was neutron stars or pulsars, but one of the two could, if things went wrong, would wipe out all life within multiple light years of it. Yeah. And let's not forget dangerous solar flares and weather. Yep. Oh, yes, folks. I pray yep. that we never f fully learn control the weather for. Oops. Just imagine what happens if something goes wrong. Like, he hell, what did you do? Uh, apparently, I jumped too early. Luckily, since I pre did a bit of before it, and it auto saves, 
Uh, we can just jump back to here. Babylon. Okay. A lot of mud brick and not much else. Why do the Russians want to dig it up? Okay. I guess that means we'll also have to be careful with the platforming. Right. I was saying, I don't really want to know all the horrible things that can happen if the weather control system malfunctions. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a good few amount, you know, a good few movies about that stuff. I, I remember seeing one like a year or two ago, and uh, yeah, basically if the if the global weather would go on, would, would go wild, uh, bye bye humanity. Yeah, like sure, it doesn't get radioactive. But good luck uh, of making things if the weather doesn't calm down, like constant non-stop storms of yeah. a vi of the more destructive kind. Yeah, nothing may survive that. Or blizzards, heat waves. So let's hope that that stuff sticks to fiction. Yeah, like you know, Star Trek did have with us a certain planet called Risa. They made us control system to calm down the weather. But at least it was calm enough for life to be born there. Yeah. But even there, some people start the decide to mess with it. reminds Comrade Dr. Paolnikov that socialist theory disavows the existence of supernatural powers. Those doctrinaire apparatchiki. What is it? They think I'm out here searching for God? Possibly. I'm just decoding the message, sir. I am searching for Marduk, a creature the Babylonians worshipped as a god, but he doesn't live in heaven, just on another plane. What kind of plane, sir? Soviet or American? Not airplane, you idiot. It's another dimension of reality. The Ethereum. Be careful, Professor. When questions of ideology arise, they often conceal doubts about methods and results. In four ministers, we're making excellent progress, all according to plan. We know the true story is waiting in the room of the tablets. That's where we'll find out what happened to the tower and to the machine Marduk inspired. We are close. It's a matter of days. And damn the ideology! Okay, I think there was a bit of a spe an error in the subtitles there, in that it was supposed to be Minister something, but it it knitted them together instead. Oh dear. Okay, just double checking if there's anything around. And now I finally understand a little bit more of the title, The Infernal Machine. Yep. Sort of. Okay, I remember, like with many of these streams of the older games that I've played in the past. Quite an operation the Russians have going here. Makes me jealous. The site is crawling with guards. I better steer clear. Uh, yeah, I know some general details of the story and such. Uh, or over uh, general details, but the yeah, specifics escape me. So, there is likely some stuff that will surprise even me again. Now, for the oh, moment, dear. I think we need, I think we want to go down there. Is there hold anything on, hold on. in these? Look down. Give me a it second. Was the... Actually, but it looks like a cave. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I think we can all guess what the hell is over there. That, 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 that is web, right? Yep. Okay, well, go to Peter and Shore for first of all. Wait, ice? Could be ice. It must also, be web. We have this lighter. Okay, I'm just going to keep the pistol ready and jump. Uh oh. <laughs> Gazoo Knight, just as Thank I you. shoot a spider. Oh, so that's what I'm missing. Oh, the... I was also asking, was that a head hogger? <laughs> <laughs> no, and yeah, as you can see, there's some big, pretty big fucking spiders. 
<laughs> going to need a really big boot for these things. Yeah, I, I actually was to ask, uh, is there going to be giant spiders here before I had to... But you heard me go, uh-oh, as I realized I need to sneeze, but I was just to ask. Okay, is there anything in the water here? Nope. Okay, so no treasures to be missed. Uh, actually, there is something in the water. Yeah, it's called water. <laughs> okay, and we got poisoned. I don't remember if that wears out over time. Luckily, that isn't our only... But our health bar is layered, sort of. And, oh, we have a poison kit there anyway, so let's just use that. There we go. No longer poisoned. And he dropped some medkits, uh, medkit as well. Oh. Weren't there three here? Ah, oh, there's number three. Okay. Uh, as long as Indy doesn't take aim, he doesn't have a shot. Oh dear, old games aiming a gun uh, style. Yeah, luckily the camera does also lock on somewhat. Okay, let's put this away and can we collect our goodies? Like one of a their gun. pistols. Look what I found. Medkits. First aid. Oh, there it is. And the replacement for our poison Aha. kit. Some medicine. Okay. Uh, can we... Oh, we can grab your pistol as well. For some ammo. Now, let's see what that actually is. We have our 45 revolver and a 9mm pistol. Okay. If I remember correctly, that just fires quicker. And, yeah, for our health bar, it has multiple layers. Oh, hello. What is this doing here? Yep. Hello, Rom. Um... Hey, Rom. <laughs> just in time to evaluate all the guns we're picking up, huh? Okay. Okay, it's a... Okay, it's called a machine okay. pistol, but I'm pretty sure that's a Mauser. Yeah, it's a Mauser Chanel PR. It's now a, what? The automatic version of kit. the uh, of the Mauser handgun. Uh, the best example I've got is the Red Nine from Resident Evil Four, because it's the exact same weapon. They just rechambered it in nine millimeter, hence the name Red Nine, and also they painted a large. Not red nine and on the grip. The <laughs> okay. Just... And we've also got this nine millimeter pistol, which looks a bit generic. I and a forty five given... revolver. Okay, the revolver's probably I don't know, either a Colt or a Smith and Wesson era revolver chambered in forty five ACP. Uh that one's probably the I don't know. It's uh... too generic to say. Honestly, my best guess is that it's a toker of revolt. It's a toker of handgun. Okay, and yeah, welcome to the stream, <laughs> and thank you for joining in. Uh, we got the infernal machine to working after having an infernal time with getting it to work. <laughs> Took extended amount of time and too much duct tape. Yep. <laughs> okay. Now the, the main issue was that apparently when I was resizing the stupid OBS window that I made it too big hmm. and it crossed over onto the other so monitor medicine. and that just caused it to freak out on Discord. So yeah, simple solution to an absolutely aggravating problem. Drink the window. Go fake. Yep. Yeah, well, it was crossing over by maybe one or two pixels. But yeah, we got it working, so... I didn't lose any hair over this, luckily. Um... You sure? Uh, hopefully. But you were kind of growling last time. Yesterday we tried to stream. Ow. Okay, we can run and gun. And I don't think it affects our accuracy too much. And yeah, as you can see, our health bar or health circle has multiple layers. Red, red being the last one. So we do need to be careful. Yeah. But the... Oh, what the... That's a big ass... Okay. Yeah, it goes another 
poison kits. Luckily, we have a few of them now. Actually, if I remember Look correctly, I we can also a medical kit. find the uh, first that I think I read. I think I heard in a review that apparently any healing items can counteract poison, but it's still probably best to keep. It what have we here? First aid. Yeah. What's this? And we're finding first plenty aid. of these already. And yes, he is going to pipe up with each and every one of them. And the first aid kit heals a full circle. So we're almost back to full. Nice. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're at Babylon. Or rather the dig site that is Babylon. To, well, look into what the hell the Russians are doing here. And apparently uh, they're looking for... A, an ancient Babylonian god, or at least a machine made uh, for him or by him, unsure on which. Uh, yeah, which was as advanced as locomotives from the 1800s, only, yeah, 3,000 years early, or at least from what we've seen of a single piece that we managed to recover so far. Yeah, dude, that piece still was very functional. I'm reminded of a joke from Freeman's mind, like, a bunch of guys are invented the combustion engine and then this one motherfucker comes out of nowhere on this Ferrari and just starts doing the rounds in front of your, probably, your like, warehouse. It's gonna be demoralizing. Yeah. Their trucks go right to the checkpoint. That's my passport. Okay, I think with that he means to just jump on top of one. I don't actually know if there's a way to get back up here somehow. So, let's make a save. And then we go, we'll go with this, 2.1. Level 2, first save. Oh, that you completely overshoot. <laughs> oh well. this here then some medicine and okay we can get back up here actually let's first pull this thing back because i think this game has a habit of hiding stuff underneath movable boxes okay not in this case yep, indeed grab on there we go yep so grab on <laughs> All right. Yeah, this game is likely going to take a few more streams than Anniversary did, because it is a lot less streamlined. Okay, get on here. And probably a better idea if we just jump to where they stop. There we go. Um... Totally invisible. Totally not. Yeah, nobody knows. Uh oh. Now they noticed. Yeah. Now they noticed. Okay. We actually didn't take a single hit in that. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Since we're getting a decent amount of hey, ammo for this, we might as well swap to it. Some medicine. What have we here? Some medicine. Now, let's have a bit of a look. Okay. Whole box. A, uh, A and B. Make C. Oh, yeah. Let's first grab the ammo there and swap sure. to this thing. I, I think I heard this voice before. Yo. Oh. I think he may have been voice like in the in some of the older games. Could be. I'm pretty sure that they couldn't get Harrison Ford. Uh, that is the correct one, right? For yeah, the games Harrison and Ford such. Is, yeah, uh, Harrison Ford was. Um, didn't really care much for doing voice work for video games. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. He did voice some in the Jones games, but not all of them. Yeah, I think later on, and uh, I'm pretty sure... Look what I found. I'm pretty sure that they're working on a 
another movie with him as Indiana Jones. Oh. Yeah. Hell you. Yeah, that one is apparently not going well. Okay. Wait, you had a rifle and you still missed me? Okay, I'll take that gladly. A gun. Yeah. Uh, for a bit warning, I have heard Kidmas ear slightly on the new Indiana Jones movie. And he has been a disaster. Apparently, if I remember right, several of the test screening for test audience have been disastrous. Okay, can we... Oh, Call. we don't have to jump that. We Get can just whip. use the whip. Once again, I've used the wrong... Wait. There we go. Yeah, we weren't going to jump that. Okay. I think we can use the whip in combat as well to disarm enemies. We can probably try it in a bit. Is it gonna make that melody every single time you use it? Likely. Now, is there a reason to go down here? I don't want to run into the pit. I'm surprised it hasn't turned into a meme. Uh, this game is a bit too old for the the era of memes. But if it if it ever gets a, a revival or something online, it might become again. Yeah. So as as you said, too old for memes. Harrison Ford is getting too old for movies, where he actually could hurt during filming. Okay. There's, there's nothing here. I think he. Okay, if this was a prize, I might be remembering wrong, but I think he broke a leg and a rib. Ouch. Yeah, and that put Kathleen Kennedy, who is directing the movie, if I remember right, hence why it has been a disaster, definitely had a panic attack when that happened. Yeah, you don't want to be the one, the guy who becomes known as the director that killed Indiana Jones. Yeah. Um, uh, funny you said that. She has planned... She directed that for Indiana Jones to die in the movie. Wait, wait you said that on stream. I'm pretty sure that you just spoiled the plot twist to everyone who watches it. The, the, here's the thing. They might change that. It has not been released yet. This was what they saw from a test screening. And people hated it. For understandable reasons. Yeah, here's another one. Ah, Someone I else who got beset to through. take over. It was not clear who, but people theorized it might have been his daughter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in the last one they teased that Shia LaBeouf taking over the role, and people did not like that in the absolute slightest. And I'm okay with that descendant take over as long as it's done Basically. respectfully. Yeah. But from what I hear in this case, this felt more. Now what? First day. Aha. Uh -huh. Less Some respectful medicine. and more forcefully political in the worst way possible. This made people even more angry. Oh, I, I guess we'll see when slash if that movie ever comes out. <laughs> hmm. For, am I right? This is the last one Kathleen is allowed to work on. Yeah, all the more reason not to try and screw it up. Hence um, why she has been having pan attack. And yeah, every time I hear about the movie, it was mostly hush, whispers, and people were a bit unsure how it goes. But then later, yeah, bad news of the bad news of the bad news. I take many of these bit grain of salt. But at this point, they all sounded rather believable at this point uh, that I am wondering how bad is it really? Okay, am I missing something here? There's the ladder here, but it just leads to the edge of the pit. And I'm pretty sure we can't jump sideways. Wait, actually, is... No, I don't think... Okay, I'm being dumb. 
we can jump that. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes wasted because I'm dumb. There, there. We have also, the rifle uh, seems to be an SKS, which is Russian. Okay, it makes sense since, well, that's what we're fighting here. Oop. Uh, oh, right. I got bored and what looked up we here? the Uncharted games. And uh, I remembered that after A Thief's End, there was a spin off. That is on the consoles, don't worry. Called The Lost Legacy. That's okay. basically like in between the events of A Thief's End and its epilogue that stars Chloe from Uncharted 2 and I think one of the bad guys from Uncharted 4. Okay. And uh, I'm okay. Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say, um,. I think you can buy uh, A Thief's End and The Lost Legacy in a bundle on the PlayStation right now, on the PlayStation Store right now. Give me a second, leaning over to my shelves. Uh, let's see, there's Shima, God of War, Horizon, Neo. I'm pretty sure I have one of the Uncharted games in here somewhere. Uh, oh dear. Yeah, A Thief's End, Uncharted 4. Okay. Okay. And I, I just, just need to get the trilogy of right. the others. Yeah. I just realized something in regard with Uncharted. And I feel like an idiot. For some reason, I just realized now that I. For some reason, my brain thought Uncharted and Far Cry were the same game series. <laughs> okay, that would have been interesting. I don't know why. Uh, Jungles, yeah, maybe? I, mm. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I know very little about the Uncharted series. Uh, like, the most I know is the train sequence in the second game. And uh, that there's a, a Guybrush Street Bridge reference in there somewhere. Not it's hidden, in but in the, main st in the main part of the game. And, no, no, wrong button. Let me... Or do you, you're Does not going use... to go through your rival's <laughs> documents, Indy? Maybe he just figures he might just shoot everybody and that might work for him? Well, it has worked a lot for me in the past. Okay. Comrade Dr. Voladnikov, so... we have Narushitin in our sight. Capture him if possible. Otherwise, Strelia the dog. Das, sir! What is with this mix of Russian and English? <laughs> I mean, the 90s or the early 2000s, they didn't really hire voice actors who do Russian, just can you make a convincing enough accent to just roll with it? For some reason, this door won't open. Probably because it's locked. Yeah. Yeah. And also, what are those things that he's studying? Uh, probably some sort of artifacts or statuettes. Yeah, the question is, of what? I'm guessing some sort of bull or other, yeah, how like animal, like oh, a lot, lot of those made. I swear to God, that looked like the, uh, the hermit boss from House of the Dead. <laughs> okay. The figure of the professor. <laughs> The, the figure, the figure. Okay, he was making sure. <laughs> yeah, for yes. me it looks not alien, but I have to remember it's it's supposed to be an old item, but also it's an old game, so Yeah, plenty of uh, what the hell is this supposed to mean? Yeah, like it gets like even sometimes you find a very old artifact. It may take a while to realize what it is old, very short, but when you add it to an old game as well, then it can really go out of control. Okay, there's a lower level to this. Let's first see if there's anywhere we can climb out here. Though, this this is looking like a, the Babylonian's equivalent of a sewer, with all of the crates all over the place. Hey, 
you got treasure. Money. Okay. I guess I guess it, as I was gonna as I was gonna say, I guess it's gotta be clean. Nobody's been using this thing for thousands of years. Yeah. Well, this could be clean since. Well, there's a saying: leave a mud pool of muddy water alone, and it will become clear on its own. Also, you know, possible magic bullshit. Yeah. I very much guess that all the dust and all that would have uh, fallen to the bottom. Then I would suspect there be to be plenty of uh, algae or something in there. Oh yeah, you can also, like, uh, look in... Ugh, brain. Brain work. Um, but yeah, you can also just buy Lost Legacy on its own, or... Uh, there's also physical copies if you want to find them. Okay, and we need a key for this. It's locked. Yep. Very big-ass lock. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Open the door. I'm here to deliver supplies. You know, dig stuff. <laughs> Whatever you need, I've got it. What? Hello, Dr. Jones. Welcome to Babel. I'm Simon Turner. Remember? CIA? Sophia works for me. Oh, you, you stole the cogwheel. The CIA. And our combi friends don't even know it's gone. Vladnikov's a hopeless academic, not a field man, and frankly, I need clues he doesn't have. That's why you got tapped. When the you are a famous archaeologist. I'm just a spy. September 18th. This should get you through the door. By the way, rumor has it they found a gold statuette of the winged god Marduk. Be awful nice to have that. CIA runs a museum. The company runs a hive of soulless bureaucrats, but I am a passionate collector. I'll bet you are. Uh, yeah, this game takes place in 47. Except the CIA... Okay, so it's gotta take place after September 18th, 1947, because the CIA didn't exist until then. I wonder know what this is after the war. Yeah. Okay, don't know what happens there with Indy just drawing and putting away his gun like that. I might have accidentally swapped to a different one. Yeah, and also, for people don't, that don't know, Indy usually brings the artifacts to museums that he finds. Yeah. With the exception of the... Why are these doors always locked? Really dangerous ones, which I think people have seen the memes of at this point. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Careful. Heal? No. Oh, wait, it's a. No. It's a dead end. <laughs> well, we know how this is going to go Good. then. Uh, we're going to. We're going to excavate Troy. You. There it is. Now you're back. Oh dear. Well, here we, we go. Need... I guess it's a good thing water was down there, otherwise, you would have been screwed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's see where the hell we ended up. Also, where the hell does Indy stick his hat, uh, hat every time? <laughs> does he just shove it up his ass mid-flight or something? Good question. Well, it always falls off when he captures it. <laughs> that, that's a fun little thing about the next game. Uh, with this, Indiana Jones and the Empress Tomb. You can actually lose your hat there. And just not get it back. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. We should be able to light things up with the lighter. But I'm. Oh, there we go. I'm guessing 
the other one just doesn't have oil or anything else to burn. Okay. Big old bull head on this thing. Oh no. Oh gosh, okay, now how are you? Chaos Dwarf wipes on this. Again, they all call me those damn things. At the elevator after all. Turner was right about Melodica. A good digger would have found this long ago. Okay, that caught me by surprise for a bit. I thought we were going to have to push this thing around and get to something behind it. Oh dear. Okay. Now I feel, I feel a bit comical that we are playing this now when the, a new DLC in some month is coming out to Titula War with Chaos Dwarfs. We are very... Babylonian inspired. <laughs> okay. Now what have we here? Hmm. This might be important. Ancient Babylonian hey. Tetris? What a contraption. How does it work? That looks familiar. With wheel. Yeah, don't you have it with you? I do. Let me just... Can I do anything with this? Uh, I don't text? think that's the right answer. Okay, that leaves us very limited options. Also... Winged humanoids? And I'm guessing the one on the right is a warrior of sorts. Looking at the what is likely a weapon and a shield. Can't say much about the left one though, unless that is a big ass broomstick of some sort, which it probably isn't. Looks like a figure as well. Like look at the three figures. Uh, yeah, the, the left one is, is a side shot from the looks of it. Uh, that means he's probably wearing some really silly hat that is sticking out in front of him. Hmm. Can't say what he's holding, though. But at the moment, I think the only thing we can really do here uh, is go to these items. And slot this what in. do you know? Sophia's little gift has a purpose. There we go. Now the elevator is working. And let's see. I can't push this any further. Can we push it this way? Because it's kind of blocking the <laughs> the buttons. And Unless it's supposed to? Oh never mind. Let's see if that gets us stuck or anything. Uh, okay, and he's not interacting with the buttons. Is this thing going to get stuck or something then? Let's see. I had a feeling. Well, we, we saw this on the way down. But I had a feeling we were high enough to, got it, to have to grab it. easy they've been dead for thousands of years okay first big puzzle room from the looks of it and there are patrons they're just well a bit more legged than we are yeah and what kind of joke was that uh just your old library joke okay yeah, nope. i guess it's better that he told himself the joke in that manner Spider there. Uh, uh, sorry, what do you mean to say that wrong? Uh, it's a joke about, you know, don't make noise in the library. Well, that's something Helion already failed at. Uh, at the sound of gunfire, yeah. Okay, that doesn't look like something that's supposed to be in a library. <laughs> Okay, then again, the spiders aren't also supposed to be here. Um... Nor should that! Yeah, this is looking like it's part <laughs> mausoleum, part library. Hmm. Then again, it was only a guess then by him. Hmm. <clears throat> 
it's going to do anything if we push it out. Oh. I'm out of room here. Let's see. We're probably going to need that to climb up somewhere higher. We can't push it down. We can't really jump side. We can't do diagonal jumps. We need to be straight on with something to be able to grab on. So we'll just have to climb back down again. And yes, very, very obvious ruby for us to go collect over there. Question is, how do we get to it? Okay. So we can get on top of the block here, but what good does that do us? Actually, we can probably get to the ruby from here, but first, because this is a bit of a height to fall from. Uh, 2.2. And go. Yep. Oh, <laughs> saved by the rebound. <laughs> A bit little. Look what I found. Okay. Oh, boy. Was that just for getting this ruby? Uh, let's see. If we jump to that, if there's another gem for us. Okay, opens up a little crawl space, but the moment we get off, it actually stays down. Okay, typically these need to be held down. But you did be a way to put a box on top of it, so they probably just made sure to keep it down to avoid you from going insane. <laughs> yeah. Also, you, maybe you even broke it by landing on it. <laughs> maybe. Hey. Then again, I don't think Indy should wait that much, since he's busy all day. He, um, it's also ancient stuff, so who knows, maybe just touching it lightly would have broken it anyways. Yeah. Wait, there is something up things there. Seems to be quite high quality, like the cogs over there we work with. Worked just fine, but then again, bronze and copper Age very well compared to iron. Well, well, look at this. Marduk, wings and all. <laughs> Not bad as priceless treasures go. Okay. That doesn't get us to continue on through this, though. Uh, unless someone is going to show up. So, any thoughts on the Resident Evil 4 remake? Hmm? Yeah, that's out already? No, it's uh, it's coming out next um, next month on the twenty third. Okay. Is that from like the trailers and stuff. I haven't well, seen the trailer actually. Yeah, same here. Uh, my hope for that though is that they'll have learned their stupid their lesson from what they did with Resident Evil Three, and don't fuck it up. <laughs> I remember watching Resident Evil Three and thought, okay, but. Just that, okay. I felt like there was something missing. Let's see. Oh, hello there. It's a whip point. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's definitely a new uh, thing, a whip point. Oh dear. But yeah, I, I pl yeah, I've played the original... Uh, I've played Resident Evil 4 on the Wii, and I had a good time with it, so... Yeah. <laughs> I hope they don't screw up this one, then. Yes. Oh, reminds me. I actually talked to my uh, twin yesterday. Oh? And... I realized he had a very... poor understanding on Nintendo. Uh, how poor exactly did he think that Sonic What's is this? a Nintendo character? Part oh, no, no, no. Tablet. He knows Nintendo Switch is popular, Nintendo is popular, but he... He thinks it's due to they only... You only play child and family games on them. Uh, people thought that of the Wii as well, with, uh, but then you get, got mm. games like uh, <laughs> Mad I Wolf. Text. Yeah, I told them, but that's not it. Like, sure, Mario and Sassy is the more popular one, but they do... I told them there is many... Scary adult games for the consoles. Maybe... I guess in people like him, maybe... 
when you see game trailers for players such, you see one thing, but usually when you see Nintendo trailers, it usually Nintendo's those uh, more even such. Nope, that was not the solution. <laughs> and yeah, when we die, we just get these options, restart, or load, or just get the hell out. Oh dear. And yeah, it loads quickly though. No. I feel okay, like actually. I hmm? do have my own issues with the Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, mainly the plot kinda doesn't make sense. Like, if you play as only one character, the plot kinda makes sense, but you try playing both characters, the plot sort of falls apart at several points. Yeah, I think I heard the most canon is the one with, uh, what was the girl's name again? Claire. 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 For once, you two are in sync. <laughs> the origin, the, when the game, when the second game came out, the canon idea supported by some extra stuff was the first run you played was Claire. The second run you played was Leon. So Claire A, Leon B. Okay. And yeah, you broke your kneecap. <laughs> I think we yeah. broke a bit more than that. But at least we yeah. made it down uh, alive. This was, this, was, uh, this was because uh, in Claire's run, a, in Claire's A run, Terry gets infected with the G virus, and that's actually a plot point for other games. In fact, that is the entire reason why Leon winds up working for the U.S. government in Resident Evil 4 and onwards. Okay. Okay. And Ada and Ada in the B scenario gets seemingly killed by being slammed into a panel which triggers the self-destruct. But she's alive and There's some cuneiform the writing here, but I can't read it. Some of the tablets are missing. No shit, we found the second half. You know, sometimes There's I some wish cuneiform like, writing here, but I can't Sorry, read I it. Not me. Some of the tablets are missing. Again, you know, the wrong I... freaking button. Yeah, sometimes I wish, like, if you found both parts of an item needed for a puzzle, your character, like, when you put in, like, one, your character just immediately puts both in to finish the puzzle. Yeah, but this is too early for that. Yeah, go yeah, on. Yeah. We'll wait for you done until you're done. Yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, the run for... Okay, so Ada gives Leon the rocket launcher in the, si in the B run. But, and then, well, Sherry gets relatively cured. She still has the G-Virus in her system. Uh, Clary goes off to find her brother, Chris, which leads into Code Veronica. Leon winds up basically shanghai into working for the U.S. government, which leads to, well, him trying to rescue the president's daughter in Resident Evil 4. And a bunch of other stuff. But right now, what's that's not exactly important, but... The basics of the plot was relatively that. The thing is, I'm not entirely sure why, but they changed a bunch of things when the remake came out. Like, Ada's A scenario death was that she gets shot and then falls off the ledge on, like, the uh, central platform of the, um, of the laboratory. Yeah. Somehow this results in her giving... Um... Claire, the rocket launcher for her be for her second run. You can notice the problem, right? You can notice the yeah. problem. <laughs> yeah, especially she's supposed I, to be kind of dead. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember and, the, him. They say that the reason why they want to do the remake is to streamline the stories a bit better. Yeah, but the thing is, it, they went with what wasn't accepted well what wasn't exactly canon but also which made the whole thing more complicated and there were points in the original where claire and leon would meet and discuss and at one point leon actually gives claire a radio so they can communicate and occasionally they would communicate they don't do that on the remake 
Okay. And no, here's where things get weird. Sherry still gets infected with the G virus because that has to happen, and Ada still dies, but she doesn't get the get slammed into the into a panel by Mr. X and thus fakes her death to later and give Leon the rocket launcher. No, she instead gets her A scenario death of she gets shot at and falls off the ledge of the central platform in the lab, which is still a bottomless pit. And someone out there is probably going to say, well, Ada has her grappling hook. She doesn't get it until they're leaving the laboratory. Wesker gives it to her in uh, as shown in Umbrella Chronicles. Yes, I am that much of a Resident Evil nerd. So, realistically, there's... And Ada still gives the rocket launcher to Leon, despite, you know, falling off at a bottomless pit. Yeah, it sounds more like they went with uh, splitting timelines instead of uh, intertwining the story, uh, like in the original. Yeah, I think I read somewhere that that's where that that's what they went with, but it just makes the whole thing a bit more convoluted at times. Yeah, yeah it kind of a bit worse as they were supposed to make it less complicated, a bit more. Well written. And the thing is, they already had the literal basics of it because they had it pre-established by literally every other thing. So it's not like yeah. they didn't... So it's not like they couldn't just uh, not do it. They just decided not to. They went in the wrong direction, which is fine. Fair enough. It just kind of makes the whole thing a bit more complicated. Yeah. Oh, okay, dear. let's put this thing in. And I think there's a piece missing still. There, it fits. I yep, but I still a... can't read anything. I'm pretty sure you, you could read a good amount of this, uh, Dr. Jones. <laughs> uh, True. On the other hand, there's probably also... A, that chunk also probably has the on-off switch. It's, or if we need to reach? make a complete sentence... Or several. Yeah. Okay, it looks... Unless there is some way for us to get the... Access to the controls with... By moving this thing, which... It only seems like we can do that to... Actually... What if we push it on here? I can't... I can't tell if he's prepping or not. There we go. Uh, when we put the Sophia's device, as it was said, called, in here, the floor raised up. Can we retrieve it to cause it to drop again? Ancient machinery. It's worth a PhD for anyone who can figure it out. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, did we just not... Okay, we can't interact with it, so I'm guessing there's something we missed up here? It's like a really tiny piece that we're missing, so it's likely. Where is it hidden, though? And the reason I'm not healing up at the moment is... I want to see if we get healed at the end of a level or not. Let's see. Did, was it in here or something? We found the Marduk statue, and there's two skeletons. But no little piece of... <clears throat> no little piece of clay or whatever the hell that stuff is. Hmm. Actually, with this here... Can we jump up to that? Like, actually, we can definitely make the jump from up there. Okay. The... I'd, I'd mostly discounted the debris here as just decoration, but no. Let's pray the skeletons don't come alive. No promises. I'd mostly because I don't actually remember if they do or not. Really? There we go. Nope. Fuck, well, that's very obvious. Yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's... 
It could be worse. It could be like that. It could be like an anniversary ah, where you literally another just jumped fragment. in and got crushed by the walls. Because apparently those <laughs> yeah. have motion sense. Uh. <laughs> oh dear God. So, another thing that really bugs me about the remake of 2 is, um... I know they, they, uh... They re they chambered the MP5 in like 380 ACP, which was because the Mac 10 you could obtain as Claire is chambered in that. Mac 10, Mac 11, I can't remember. It was what it was a submachine gun. It was one of the Mac type submachine guns. But basically, it was chambered in that, and probably for use of you know logic. For like ease of inventory space and stuff, they made it so that you have submachine gun ammo over all B1 type, but it's just. But. Isn't that supposed ACP to be like 9mm actually... or something? Yeah, the MP5 is 9mm Luger, nine, the standard 9mm, and there's a variant on like 40 and 10mm, but for the. For not going insane, we're going with 9mm. 380 ACP wouldn't actually cycle all that well on an MP5. Yeah, also probably because the barrel is probably too small for that. No, 380 ACP is actually smaller than the uh, than uh, than regular nine millimeter. I think 380 ACP ACP can be called nine millimeter short or nine millimeter curves. Okay. So the bigger problem is now that it doesn't get make sense. That's firing Let's it. Let's see here. Make welcome seeker. Know that it was Nebuchadnezzar, in heed of the writing uh, that Marduk made appear unto him, who builded the great engine. Having no understanding, the rabble hath thrown down his work, but four trusted disciples are, are scattered upon the face of the earth, and the relics go with them. Wouldst thou tread the path of knowledge, look eastward. Ergon it is who flees to the heavenly mountains, where Shambhala holds a mighty secret. Heavenly mountains. I wonder if that means the Tian Shan Range. Okay, slide away door. Wall. Okay. But saying 380 ACP doesn't have the kinetic power to, you know, actually make it so that the rounds, so that the gun cycles, so it would jam a lot easier. I know they did it because yeah. of inventory stuff, but I don't know, it would have been. Yeah, it wouldn't pull, it wouldn't push the. Uh, let's see, I'm, go I'm calling back on some very old uh, knowledge of mine of how firearms, but. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't push the, uh, the th when a bullet goes off, it doesn't just push out the bullet. It also pushes something else, which causes the eject, you know, which causes it to be ejected. And yeah, is that what you mean? That it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't eject properly. Yeah, pretty much. It would What's just this? Like... Okay, jam. it would jam. Now what? An idol. And I, I think we said that at the same, about the same moment. <laughs> and now I'm thinking of space balls. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh. hmm. I still need to see that full movie. I've only seen the ending a little bit of uh, the middle, but I've never seen the full thing. Uh, I, I th I'm pretty sure you'll laugh when you get to the jam scene if you haven't seen it as a clip before. The what the? Uh, I'm not going to say any more because I'll might probably end up spoiling something. <laughs> Let me. I'll just say it's a very funny movie. Oh, that I know. It was. I never heard of the jam scene. And again, I'm not going to say anything to preserve the surprise. Oh, hello there. Ah, Jones, there you are. Got a statue for me? Will this do? It just might. 
Anything else? According to the inscription, the tower once housed a great engine. When the Babylonians smashed the thing, four priests escaped with the parts. Taking them where? Not sure, except in one case. Some fellow named Ergon headed for the Heavenly Mountains. There's a crude map of Central Asia. That's not much help. Might be enough. The Tian Shan Range straddles the border between China and Kazakhstan. The name translates as Heavenly Mountains. Kazakhstan? Last time I looked, that was Soviet territory. Maybe I won't show the border guards my passport. Okay, buddy, it's your funeral. Pretty sure it's supposed to be pronounced Kazakhstan. I think anybody in the team knew that. Now he's thinking, now how the hell am I getting back? <laughs> okay. Okay, now I feel like the game is insulting you. Uh, Say you got 29 IQ? Really? <laughs> no. I don't know how the game scores stuff like that. Like, there obviously it counts on time and treasures found and such. And I'm guessing just that big fall also took off, off quite a lot. And yeah, I don't think we need anything from the store at the moment. We've got a few trauma kits, good amount of poison kits, first aid, and a lot of ammo. Like <laughs> 100 rounds almost. And yeah, with that. This level. Okay, I can... Apparently, he just decided to do a Halo jump. Indeed, joining the ODSTs. Sleep. The a Halo jump is a real thing. It's uh, I, it's an acronym. Hang on one second. Orbital deployment something trooper. No, it was a uh, mm. jump. High. Uh, wait, hang on. Aha. High altitude, low orbit. Yeah, high altitude, low orbit. Uh, one game example is Metal Gear Solid 3, actually. That's how you start the game. Your yep. snake does a halo jump. Good. Get another thing that tries to kill Indy, the wildlife. <sighs> Wait. Or there, that, just running. That looks familiar. Another relative, Rom? I don't know if I have any relatives in Kazakhstan. <laughs> no, don't draw it again. I want to jump. In the, in, he's, he doesn't grab on to anything if he's holding a weapon. Actually, if you're holding, hmm? like. I get that if you're holding what like a two-handed weapon, but I feel like it should be possible if you're holding like to a pistol or something like that. Yeah, you could chuck the pistol onto whatever you're trying to grab. But uh, yeah, if, if I remember correctly, Indy absolutely refuses to throw anything. <laughs> so he just bounces right off. Here. And we're not the only ones here. Okay. I remember this level. And it's because there this is one of this level has one of those roundabout things where you might have to go well roundabout a lot. Only you're dealing with something that rather limits how far you how many times you can go around. So let's see. We still have a good half hour ish but okay. i might it, we i might need to look up a guide as to how the quickest way to get around here is okay apparently indy is and now you okay just losing a shot just losing a shot dry small and then yeah Example of Indy refusing to grab on. Oh yeah, you need to get to the tower. Oh, and the Russians are already here. Somehow. And this is their territory. I guess. 
the Soviet border, and it looks well guarded. That's the border, yeah. right? Oh, I just realized we're an American and we're in the, and we're about to assault the Soviet border. We're about to commit an international incident. There we go. This thing kills in one shot, I believe. We're just we were both hitting the tree. I'm pretty sure. Oh okay. dear gods! And also, Roma, you play this game? I do remember from like the review I saw it. Ah, okay, okay. There we go. So yeah, this thing is powerful, but we will want to preserve ammo with it, of course. I say as I <laughs> accidentally lose, have let loose a shot with a different one again. Oh, what are we gonna do with you? Sir, so I'm gonna conserve ammo, pull out a handgun, and shoot at nothing. Yeah, though for that one, we do have like a hundred rounds. Yep. <laughs> Someone's been drinking. Okay, open up. Anyone else wants to play Russian roulette with a full clip? Nope. Someone's there. Let's see. Where's the guy over here? Do that. Okay. Anything in here? Oop. Okay, that just opens up the gate, I'm presuming. Don't really think we need to go back there, but just in case. For now, though... And, yeah, these aren't hit-scan weapons. So we can't get outranged by extra things. Especially these rifles. Luckily, they work a lot better on them than they do on us. And we can... Okay... Uh, what do you dislike about the RE3? Uh, could you repeat that you were kind of drowned out by the water there? Okay. What did you dislike about the Resident Evil 3 remake? I'm Dougie. Run. Uh, I didn't play it myself. I seen gameplay of both games of the original and the new one. I forgot the most of it, but like I didn't dislike it, but I felt like it was not as ex like it felt like I should have found it exciting, but some things were awesome, but a lot of things felt like something was missing, something was off. going to get real annoying if it is going to be that loud all the time. The thing is, and this kind of confuses me, Every, Capcom announced the Resident Evil 2 remake. Like, everybody knew about it. There was a fan attempt that basically Capcom said that they can do because they were making their own remake, so the guys basically retooled it and it became Daymare 1998. Stoy! Uh. Okay. So everybody knew about the RE2 remake, but then the RE3 remake comes out and everyone's like, wait, you also worked on that? Part of me has to wonder if hey, some hey. of the bits that are, if some of the shortcomings for the RE2 remake comes from also deciding to develop the RE3 remake like relatively close to each other. Could be, yeah, and well, it's yeah. very obvious which of those got the short stick of the two. Yeah, for one thing, I feel like the, or, e, the remake of 3 was it won't weird, it felt, it felt weirdly short. 
And then, from what I understand, they massively screwed up Nemesis. I can't open it. They did? Yeah, as in he's, he's much less of a threat than he should it. be. Okay, what is going on here then? Wait. I felt... I feel like I disagree with you there, Vitaly. There may be... From a remember for... I'm pretty sure in the original... He did not... Um, Ram his wall through... It won't uh, no, Not ram his wall... Ram his arm through walls to strangle someone. Yeah, I, I, what I mean is... Uh, go ahead. Wait, no, no, I'm thinking of Mr. X and Resident Evil 2, but he did have the ability to, like, go through doors, oh. which doesn't seem like much, but you gotta remember, mm -hmm. in Resident Evil, if you go through a door, if you left an enemy behind there, they don't go through that. True. But Nemesis was smart enough to be able to go through a door and follow you through the area. Yeah. And you just made me realize the one I was thinking was, was Mr. and Mr. X, not <laughs> Nemesis. Yeah. Yeah. The, the thing from what I heard, what they messed up with uh, Nemesis is that he's a lot less persistent. As in, you can lose him for good stretches of the game. Yeah. No, he does look more horrifying. Yeah. What's <laughs> this? On a raft. So this is how the Russians patrol the river. Oh right! I, I just realized now. You gotta look into one of the uh, one of the other two cabinets. One of those has a. Now what? A rasp repair kit. And there's going to be the strangle point of this level, as in the stupid thing, the stupid raft can spring a leak, and that we only have a limited amount of repair uh -huh. kits. A medical kit. So Wait. yeah. If I remember correctly, there's probably another place where you can get extra repair kits, but right now we only got the one. Yep. Oh dear. And, and also... I'm pretty sure any sharp rock will pop and go start the leak. Uh, question. Who designed the buttons? Uh, someone with, uh... A big need for glasses, I'm guessing. Let's see, what? What's this? Oh. <laughs> for a moment I thought it was a big-ass bento box, but no. Look what I found. It's a chest of coins. So oh, that's why you can't open the door on the other side, because you have to do a small puzzle thingy. Oh, yep. dear. And the stuff is just broken as well. Okay, now we need to get this open, which I'm guessing is the big labeled box box button here. Okay. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to make a save here. 3.1. Probably a good idea. Um. Nope. Do we need to be closer? I'm pretty sure these waters will kill us if we get too... There we go. This is being picky. Yeah, <laughs> enjoy your stop motion. Uh, raft. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here we go. Wait, they use this to patrol the river? Apparently. Mm. <laughs> I'm guessing river, I'm guessing river patrol boats are in a, are in a big thing in Russia. Uh, or in the mountains. I feel like this is the case where you should not be patrolling the river because of this. Okay, luckily the walls don't puncture this thing, but if we run into any rocks like that, uh, we can spring a leak. Also, yep, <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be an adventure game without there being stuff behind waterfalls. Okay. Also, I hope this sound of all of this water isn't too loud. Yeah, not at all. Okay, it is decently loud on my end. 
but not deafening or anything. Okay, give me that. Okay, there we go. Shift is for walking. I'm pretty sure we can't walk off ledges like that. Still going to be careful with it though. And yeah, we've we've had we have this chalk and we can use that to mark places on the ground. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. It, I need to be at the absolute edge of this thing. Also, is the paddle also inflatable, or where the hell does that come from? Paddle comes with the raft. That's that's all there is. It's unbelievable. Okay, uh, theory. Why Indiana Jones is so obsessive about his hat? Why right, then? Like, it's not going to where he keeps all this stuff. <laughs> also works. Okay, there we obviously something we need to activate. Get across. And let's see. That looks to be completely blocked. And yes, it is. Okay, so this is just a one way round trip. One way trip in general. The wrong boy, are you howling? There's a little smudge on my screen. Okay, I think I just managed to scratch away most of it. It's... Be careful if you do that. Yeah, I'm not putting any pressure on it, just to rubbing the top layer. It's... No wolves, but we do have this here. Okay, yeah, we need to go collect four candles from all over the place here. Okay. Candle. Oh, yep. dear. Let's see, that's just a pit from the looks of it. No meaning to rhyme. <laughs> Shot there. Okay. Any more repair kits or stuff? Hmm, nothing. Actually, oh, yeah, oh, another uh, repair kit. Actually. <laughs> hey, a raft repair kit. Aha, a raft repair kit. I don't think I really need this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it's about, as far as I'm aware, this is like the only place where you can restock, so keep this place in mind. Okay, I did not know no, about what? that at all. A medical kit. Okay. And of course there's a picture of Stalin on the wall. Just sent Fido on his way. And oh, there's the other one. Is that a wolf running properly? I'm not sure. You're going like a what fox I mean? almost the way you ran. Okay, I think I remember now. This is this is where we start the cycle again. So let's put this way. Indy does stop at the edge. And here we go with the rat. But before we take off any further, 3.2. Uh, yep. Okay. Back to the two rooms early question about the Sony Remake 3. I think you guys remember no, the, my biggest issue with it. Hello? 
often bored most of the time with, with watching it. Okay, careful, careful. I mean, this would be a and I guess up, but most of it I found really boring. Wait, what? No, I'm, I'm telling Hillian, you might want to fix the raft. He hit a raft. Oh. Yep. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah you take yeah, damage. Really... Nope, go ahead. Uh, no, you do. You talk. We'll talk later. Okay. Uh, yeah, when you hit a sharp rock, the raft not only loses some health, but also will keep losing health until you repair it. Pretty sure of that, and yeah, it splits here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can't think I really blame you for thinking it. One thing I will really, really fucking hate are one hit kill enemies. And both yeah. the second and both the remake of the second game and the remake of the third game have the in the second game they're the IEVs. In the third game they're the hunters. And the annoying part is that they require you to have an item on. But is that on the second game the second remake, if you wanna not get it, not lose health, you need to either use your knife or use a grenade. Know, be able to uh, basically escape their grasp. And on the third one, you are shown a bottom from you can press the press, but it looks like this does nothing because you still get attacked. One thing I always felt ever since I played the remake, oh, the second remake is that they should have just put in like the ability to like button press your way out of the force juice. One of your this? recovery items, a one of your like knives or grenades for a quicker escape, because if you like take longer, what have we here? You could lose some slight amount of health and maybe be free for other enemies to attack you, but you also don't waste the item you might need later. But if you decide to use the item, you use it, and well, you lost it, but you won't lose. That much health. I feel like that, that balances out, and I feel, and from what I've seen, the Resident Evil 4 remake is doing that. The problem with the IVs is that the second they grab you, if you don't have a knife or a grenade, you're dead. That's it. You're just fucking dead. They just into the fight into your head, and that's it. That either checkpoint or load save, and they just set you the fuck up. Uh. Yeah, that, that sounds like dumb design. Yeah, like, Ooh. one hit enemies make sense sometimes, but I do feel like there's been times that they added those kind of enemies unnecessarily. And in three, the hunters in the sewers, which looks like giant frog, you need to shoot them on the mouth, except you can also shoot them in the mouth and they'll still eat you in like one gulp. So, yeah, you're pretty much mercy of hoping you actually got the shot right. Oh dear. Uh, we need to go down each path. We have to go down each path. But it looks like we got the worst one because we got only one candle out of that. And uh -oh. let's see. This is how and we get back up. Just need to reactivate this thing. But you know what this reminds me of? Hmm? Your elevator in Minecraft. <laughs> Only this one has it uh, downstairs instead of upstairs. Yeah. M maybe I should just put that thing on the outside of the tower so I don't have to have run it through the entire length of it. You should have a bit of a side tower as an elevator tower on the side. And it has been a long while since we streamed that. I have made good progress with it. And the, the design for the, for the generator that I was working on is finally done and blueprinted. It does have one little weakness still though, in that it needs to be fed fuel to actually function. 
but we can fix that easily enough with the charcoal generator. Hey, you want to know something even funnier that I found out about the Resident Evil 4 remake? Go ahead. So try to avoid these rocks. Okay. Wait a bit. Damn it. Close enough, just uh, catch it. You can carry a chainsaw. <laughs> okay, so one of the enemies in the game in the village section called Dr. Salvador, he's like the dude with like uh, a, a bag okay. on his head and a cha and carries a chainsaw. Yep. And in the original game, if he literally if he got close to you, he is one of those one hit kill enemies. He's also slow to make up for it. Yes, exactly. It's also slow. In the remake, you can actually carry his chainsaw with your knife if you have it. You still need to dodge him, because it's better to not do so, but the fact that they give you the option is kind of neat. Yeah, it, it's a bit of rule of cool over, well, sanity. Oh dear. <laughs> Really watch Resident Evil 4. I will learn a little bit, but not much. Uh -huh. Besides, what I learned from lore YouTubers about Resident Evil, but I'm not seeing. I haven't seen anyone play it. The original? The original Resident Evil 4. The original Resident Evil 4. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why. Actually, people are, are still playing it. They just... Okay, we got oh. out of dodge quick enough because the scorpions now. That's the first. Um, actually, it's on like almost every console nowadays. They got released on the GameCube first, then on the PS2 with some extras, then on the Wii with the extras from the PS2. Oh, yeah, come. Oh, no, it's in force. Uh, let's take a left. I'll repair it yeah. once we're back or once yeah. it starts getting low. Yeah, so I think, think it's a full review. I know that Resident Evil will have been released on almost every platform. I just haven't watched a YouTuber play it for some reason. I just skipped over it for some reason. I don't know why I've been skipping over it. Well, we could add it. We, yeah, we could add it to the stream list. Oh dear. Do I want to, yeah. Is that because it was not released too? Uh, indeed. Okay, okay that was odd. I accidentally cancelled him getting out. Release. He was even released on a fucking at a stupid on some basically unknown. Brazilian console called the Devo. I think I've heard of that in one of those uh, Guru Larry videos or something. Yeah, I think I, I think it's uh, funny about that then. Wasn't that busy illegal? I've never seen a Devo in my life. Uh, let's run back for a sec to get some more repair kits. Have you heard, heard of that there was a that was a console that was illegal due to it played other consoles games like Xbox and PlayStation. Now what? A Could raft be. repair kit. Look what I found. A raft repair kit. Hmm. A raft but again, repair if the Brazilian kit. government doesn't give a crap about that. Okay. <clears throat> I, I'm still surprised that Brazil had an emperor. Yeah, that doesn't actually surprise me at this point. I mean, Peru was literally run by co by a communist coup at one point in like the mid 20th century. My mom lived in that era. I did not know that. Yeah, South America has seen shit. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 I will not argue against. That is damn true. We got this thing. Especially with all giant. Oh wait, no, that's lost there. Damn it. 
Okay, this time let's go left and then right. That should give us a third candle. As to where the fourth one is... Is that the only one that hears the fact that your raft is leaking, right? Nope. <laughs> it's just that it's getting drowned out a lot by the water. I, I just don't want to waste one immediately when there's still rocks to hit. Like that little sneaky. Okay. Run, paddle, paddle, paddle. We have a momentum with this, so I do... There is a chance that we can just overshoot the safe areas. There we go. Okay. That's the way out. Yeah, I think you almost overshot there, as you said that. That game's yeah. like, uh... Indeed. There we go. Indy, you literally only have to get off the raft. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Resident Evil 4 is like out on most consoles nowadays. You can buy it on PC, you can buy it on the PlayStation Store, I think you can buy it on the Xbox Store as well. Okay. Yeah. Is that a candle in there? Actually, here's a fun fact. It wasn't actually supposed to be like it was supposed to be just the, the GameCube exclusive. It was part of the uh, what was at the time known as the Capcom 5, which was the uh, PN uh, or some I don't remember. I never played it. Uh, um, Killer Seven, Resident Evil Four, Beautiful Joe, and, and Dead Phoenix. Dead Phoenix got canceled. Resident Evil 4, Killer7, and Beautiful Joe got ported to PlayStation 2. And, and the only one that stayed on GameCube was the PN, the numbers I kind of forgot about. Okay, okay. wait. Yes, I wonder, I wonder that, that one was released to PS3. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I have Resident Evil 4 for the Wii, and since I have a Wii U that works with the uh, Razer capture cards, we could add that to the list at What's some this? point. Another candle. I, I did recommend you to add the Resident Evil games to the list. <laughs> yeah, okay. Piano 3. That's the one. That's also known as product number 3. Your name, but whatever. Uh, we have three candles, but what? Where can we find number four? So I think this is going to lead back to the middle, at the beginning. That looks like where we came from, out from on the first trip. So where is the fourth one hidden? Oh, we're back here. Okay. Wait, is this the same area or this is a different one? Okay, no candle. So, move on. Hmm. Okay, where is it? Kind of cool. We play Indiana Jones games, but we somehow end up talking a lot about the Resident Evil. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mostly to fill in time with stuff, well, with sound other than rushing water. It's, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to check if there's any Indiana Jones lore videos. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are. The annoying part about Resident Evil, if you want to like play the entire series, is just finding copies of the damn games. Like, I got, like, I got copies for like, for one, two, three, on my PS3 through like, PlayStation Store, but you can't buy those on like on like website anymore you have to go to the PlayStation 3 PlayStation store if you want like PlayStation 1 or a game on that and they vaguely remember there being PC versions of it but finding those are needle in a haystack or something like that although I'm amusingly enough my uncle actually gave me a pirated copy of Resident Evil 3 but it but while I was able to get the menu working and I was able to get the intro, it's 
stopped working after the intro, so I never really played it. But I did wind up, but my, but my uncle also bought me a Half-Life Blue Shift, which ran by its own, amusingly enough. And okay. I wound up playing that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my father has a copy of Blue Shift that works somewhere still. It reminds me, I bet the owner some day ago released a new Half-Life. There was Half-Life Alex, the VR game. No, no, I'm talking about a, well, well more of a quote-unquote remake or yeah. re-sync or something. Uh, Black Mesa? Yeah, Black Mesa re-sync something. Let's, let me check. Is there anything behind this one? No. no. It looks really basically like the up. original Black Mesa, the original first Half-Life just... Oh, it's the mod. That's the mod. That's uh, the black. That's Half Life Ray Trace. Ray Trace, I mean. Oh yeah, oh, yeah the one. Ray Tracing one. Okay. Wait, that's a mod. Yes. Okay, let me explain what it was said. It released on the same day the video was pushed out. But I was thinking, why would Valve do this? Okay, Just release this out of thin air. Okay, that, that makes so much sense now. Then again, I have been tricked by a few Fallout uh, trailers, that was apparently mods, but it was so convincing and well made out of the way. They're releasing Fallout London? Nope, and... Okay, from the looks of it, that entire path is actually useless since it doesn't bring you to anything different than you end up on this one, it seems. Okay, double check. Yep, still no candle. Okay, where is the fourth one then? Maybe at the other side of that bridge or something? Might be worth a look. Just look at the trolls. Let's go back to the. <clears throat> let's go back to the candle holder, putting the three that we have, and maybe that'll do something. I, I do not like those rocks here at the very bloody end. It's, it, it feels like a kick after. Yeah, that that, that that's just mean. Still nothing around here. It's one. There's two candles you can get on this track, and we've come down that one over there, I'm pretty sure. How do we get to that line, then? Because that's where the fourth one should be, then, I'm guessing? Hmm. Uh, oh. I don't think that we missed it or anything. Lambert made that elevator water powered. Yep. Uh, let's see, we've got some five minutes left. So Fido running again. <laughs> Just run through Fido apparently as well. Uh, yeah, that is definitely a bottomless pit. Hmm. Let's see, we've got a yellow, a red, and a green. I'm guessing there's a blue one as well, then. Hmm. What is the there some way to activate this? Someone's calling me. Uh, be right back. Okay. Uh, let's see, any indications as to which candle goes where, or will they just be slotted just wherever they one want and hope. There. Okay. Wait, I just figured it out. Look up. Put the camera. Hmm? No, put the camera above the, uh... Lift the camera? Lower the camera? I can't. 
There, okay. I... Nope, no, I did not figure it out. It's just the card of is the executive stuff. Just put the candles on it in a random order and then we'll hope. It fits. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing they don't need a specific order, or if it is, then the game is going to complain at us. There. They need an extra candle. Okay. Oh. Hey, uh, okay, so that that... And uh, funny story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just remaining. Guess who is calling on my phone? Twin. My mother. She asked me to open my door, but she forgot her keys. <laughs> So yeah, she called me to beg me to open the door for I wasn't answering her knocking. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I didn't hear her due to the headphones and probably running water in the game. Let's see. Indiana Jones and for a machine. Candles. That's... Uh. It's kind of funny. Had she arrived five minutes later after the stream, I would probably have heard her. <laughs> probably, yeah. Uh, let's see. Along the water were those towers, sort of. Looked like a, a bit like a bell. I'm guessing those could be hints as to where to go. Um, wait, there was a blue one. There were blue one twice, I think. Maybe we can find one through that. For now, though, let me actually scroll through this a bit to see. Of course, fill to the brink with bloody ads. Uh, let's see, canyon lands, no. Oh, wait, this is just an like, entirely written walkthrough from start to finish, apparently. Okay, I just need to know about the stupid candles. Uh, finding page, candle. Okay, four magical candles, let me hit the cross there. Uh, okay. Uh, there yeah, we got that one. Uh, okay, wrap. Hollow out tree, that's the second one that we have. Okay. This is talking about some area that has a lot of a bunch of crafts. Oh, so hmm. Maybe the one of the candles is not by the river. And it still mentions the river. Uh, oh. Let's see. Maybe I can. We have all of the candles except for a blue one. I'm guessing. So let me just do a quick search of blue candle with this. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fuck off with your cookies and bullshit. So much mm. work just to get candles for a birthday cake. <laughs> Not even that, but just a decoration thing. Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot by seeing where we end up if we follow the blue towers. Yeah, and I think he just answered your clue. Yep. That's the stream timer going off. But let's give it one run down more. Yeah, the blue tower, blue candle. But I think I saw some towers around that one was blue and one was another color. Damn it. Yep. Okay, we'll have to endure the hissing a bit because I think we have only one repair kit. Yep. Should have restocked on those. 
Okay, uh... The blue one points down to the right. And that is the shortest one which only sends us down... Which only gets us one of the candles. So, what if we go this way? Yes, we'll have to endure the hissing a bit more. Up ahead of us. Okay, is it... Yeah, freaking course, we just poke the other thing. Uh, the dirt. Yes, three or something like that. Okay, now let's what? repair it. Yep, wrong one. Uh, what was the question wrong? Uh, I was asking Hillian if he had a PS3 or something. Yes. Uh, I have a PS4. Okay. I'm to remember... Okay, going to note away from here. There's a spider on top. Yeah. Are oh, you going to that? Wait, wait. This place, this command fight against the current. I'm pretty sure we went left here, so let's go right. Or maybe we already did right, we'll see. Okay, that looks new. Yep, this is new. Okay. Then we slow. Nope, nope, nope. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Okay, well, we know where to find it now. Great. Apparently you can, there are some PlayStation 1 games being re-released with the Air Force PlayStation now if you don't like PS4, PS5. Okay. Let's go up one last time, and then we'll call it a stream. <clears throat> Okay, I, I was expecting this level to get be a lot to be a lot more infuriating, but it is pretty decent so far with this. I, look, I was expecting this to be a lot more of a maze. Well, the other thing like this. Imagine yourself as a kid playing this. Yeah, and getting frustrated to hell and back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Three point four. Save. And then we exit, and we already saved, so no need for that. Okay. And then I turn that off. Mm -hmm. I should correct that in the Stream Deck buttons as to, well, <laughs> to start to, yeah, to hide and view the correct one. And that was not supposed to go there. Okay. Open up the browser, and we go to our end screen. There we go. And yeah, before we end the stream, we're going to look for someone to raid. So, browser, and then we go to All Discord, right. change the screen well, share. I prepared an axe and a saddle for ROM. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, there's a decent amount of people on. <clears throat> Pardon? And of course, Atomic no, Hot. I'm curious to look at the Let's Play of it, but also a bit of afraid, since I've already seen a certain... Fridge. That makes me afraid of it. I never see a red fridge. Uh, no, so, I think it's called. Oh, yeah. Seen it. Also, apparently, if you play it, it gives your data to the FSB. AKA the KGB, supposedly. But, uh, yeah. Uh, with everything going on in Ukraine, uh, I would have advised the. I would have advised they take another year. I would. I would have advised him to take another year to work on it until uh, yeah, it could be released in a less politically active uh, time. <clears throat> but yeah. Yeah. Let's oh, see who dear. is on at the moment. Bad timing. Bad timing. We have Frain who is streaming War Thunder in the low We're tiers, apparently. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Rest up well, you. Rest up well, Rome, and thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you as You're always. Welcome. Later. So yeah, let's see. We have Frame with War Thunder, who is apparently doing an <clears throat> a sponsored stream uh, because it says hashtag ads, and if they plan to be streaming 
Company of Heroes 3 later, according to this as well. Then we have Sour Wolf, not Sour Wolf, Sour Walrus, who is streaming The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, which is the first Morrowind that I ever played and actually never got any far into it because I kept getting lost and getting assaulted by the freaking cliff racers. Uh. <laughs> Hexagon is streaming Grounded. WB PL76 is streaming Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We, yeah, we should plan that in as well at some point. We've got a good amount of things planned up. We just need to shuffle them around to see how they fit together. Uh, Karenai is streaming Limbus Company. Can't see I've heard of that. Uh, let me also demo. I'm okay, this type is muted. Or if I have or not. Uh, Kiri Natsuyoko is, as always, <laughs> murdering demons by the dozens or hundreds in Doom 2. And we have the Lazy General who is streaming Chef Life, a restaurant simulator. Okay. What? Any of those sound interesting, or shall we look at the recommendeds? The Lazy General sounds familiar. Uh, let, let's take a look at the recommended, just in case. Okay, we have Sussy Benu... Benui? I'm, I'm guessing that's some sort of play on Bunny or something. They're playing Barony. We've given that a showcase once, I believe. Interesting game, but tricky to get into. Then we have I'm Nice. Yeah, I, I am G-N-E-Y-S-S, -S, who is streaming The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Very good one. One of the best, I believe. Then we have Burias TV, who is streaming Rimworld. We have Rift Slider, who is streaming Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I think I've heard of that one before. I haven't. And we have Fluffy Microwave streaming Project Zomboid. Hmm. Let me take a mm. peek here. The, gate, the site is muted. Okay. <laughs> What's with this shiny Ampharos that's vibing on the other end? Okay. <clears throat> uh, mm. Shall we rate uh, this one then? You're not sure. I'm unsure who is to rate at the moment. Okay, just copy the name over, head to our place, and we start with slash rates. And paste but before that of course uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later uh, thanks again Ram for joining us and chatting along and giving us <laughs> in a lot of info on Resident Evil and firearms and uh, yeah thank you as always Drakir you're welcome as always my friend uh, it'll be a bit again until I can stream because tomorrow I have an early shift and the day after I have a night shift and then actually no, I, I believe that... Hmm. Okay, yeah, tomorrow we can stream again in the evening and possib hmm, possibly even in the afternoon, the day after. Let's see, tomorrow is the 28th, then the 1st, and I have a dental appointment on the 2nd to deal with a cavity. First in my life, after 30 plus years, so a, <laughs> a good run, I'd say. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll probably be able to stream on one of those times. Um, yeah, more indie, or shall we finish up Headlander then? Probably going to finish off Headlander. Okay, then we'll need to find... Actually, actually, I already have a few in mind as to the next of the side projects. Uh, but we'll see then. For now, yeah, let's start up the raids. And yeah... After after the next batch of work days, I should have a good amount of time free, at least three days. I'll have to double check beyond that. Uh, for now, though, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for giant spiders and scorpions and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. See ya. See ya.